Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping All Subject channel. Man, listen. I want to talk about the two main things, or two of the main things, that modern women have been poisoned by, spoiled by, uh, that affect relationships and dating and make them not worth the time and the effort. The first thing is mainstream media. Mainstream media being these talk shows, the news, so on and so forth. Now, you could throw movies in there, too, if you want, but I'm not really talking about those right now. I'm talking about all of the, the feminist talk, all the misandrous talk. Okay, you, first of all, what, what dude is going to marry a misandrous woman? Who going to marry them? First of all, marriage, take it from somebody that been married for a long time. Like, it's it's mostly give. Like, you you trying not to argue. You trying not to cuss her out. You trying not to jack her up. You trying not to go back and forth. You trying, you trying, you trying. But then over time, it's, you start seeing with most of them, not all. It's a couple of them that, you know, is unicorn or close to it. But after a while, you'd be like, wait a minute. I'm doing all of this. I'm holding back. Look, I'm, I can, I'm known for knocking dudes out. And you getting all up in my face, talking slicker than these dudes. Ain't that some of y'all? And you don't knock her out. But you don't get none. You pay the bills, but you don't get none. If you do, it's a horrible, lousy half performance with no desire in it. All of this, people don't realize that we can't see the subliminal messages. Remember They Live. If you haven't seen They Live, you need to watch that movie. We can't always see the subliminal messages that go in our eye gate. It could be stuff like don't love them, be like Jezebel, but we can't see it and they can't see it when they watch these shows. They masters in scrolls, like they can scroll uh, uh, across the screen a message that's saying something else backwards. And that's why I say they poisoned by it. They watch these shows where these women act like they're in control. I'm talking about my kids and uh, all this stuff. My husband. Like they own the dude when they got his last name. All of these things. They purposely, man, if you want to watch football, watch football. If you got one of them women that always want to stand in the... And I'm talking to somebody prophetically. I know I am. Because I know being a prophet for a while, I know when I get this, you are the man. You in control. You don't need her. She don't even treat you right. Don't let her stop you. Tell her to her face. Look, I'm watching football. I'm watching baseball. I'm watching whatever it is. You want to watch that? You watch it. Remember she not supposed to alter you ain't supposed to alter your life for her she's supposed to alter her life for you and if she's not willing to do that without flirting around messing with other men then you dump her and either be by yourself or find a replacement simple as that man what is compromising gotten us nothing bunch of bills and a lot of y'all struggling financially. 
Some because she won't help you. Others because you overextend yourself trying to please this person, that person. Look, man, this is 2024. No man should be taking no woman in his house that's not going to contribute. If you, you shouldn't go down financially for these women, none of them, even unicorns. They come around, you should be going up. Now, even if you handle your business out here and you start doing better, and they come around, that should continue or they should contribute to the continuation of it. Dude, don't try to act like I don't know what I'm talking about, man. I know what I'm talking about. Like I say, show me a guy on here uh, other than Rolo. I think Rolo is close to being married longer than me. Rolo Tomasi. But other than that, I don't think none of them are. If they are, where they at? I've been married to that woman since 1998. I have. Some stuff, I believe I spoil. But then, things change. And when you spoil a woman, they try to blame you. But when things start going bad, you got to look at both. Like, you got to look at both. Like, like, let's say you a guy that don't have time to be up in college. You got to work. You got to work. Sometimes it be like that. What's supposed to happen if you marry? If you go to college, your wife's supposed to be able to cover things. If you want to go to college and make more. If you can't go to college, uh, either you step it up or she step it up or y'all both step it up. So I had to, like I said, look, I'm going to be 50 soon. I said, I'm not finna spend the rest of my work life just paying bills and barely, I can save a little, but barely able to save money. I said, from a cash standpoint, by the time I hit my 60s, I wanna be up in the hundreds of thousands, like maybe 350,000 in cash with no bills, no debt, or very little. Or if I do, it's, it's not gonna affect me negatively. But the way, the rate I'm going right now, it's gonna be very hard to get there. That's why I said, look man, it's gonna have to be more contributions. But of course, no, I don't mean this disrespectfully towards it. But I already know I'm I'm pretty much be by myself or with somebody else just like she is. Same thing. It's the way it is. But even until that happens, if your wife, if you legally married, but yet your wife is a roommate, what do I mean by this? She ain't doing the wifely duties. Not doing the wifely duties then you need to make her contribute more. Don't pay all them bills. Don't pay them. If whatever happens, happens. But you, y'all letting them stay in the comfort zone? No, nah, the comfort zone is over with. Make them sweat. You know, well, what about my kids? Do you think she care? A lot of them going to take your kids away from you if they haven't already. But my kids need it. Look, man, you divorced guys, you separated guys, don't let 
Like, if your wife got a boyfriend, it's his job. Tell her, well, I'm finna get evicted. Tell her, not my problem. You, you letting him stick. You wasn't doing all that with me. That's some of y'all situation, ain't it? You got divorced. You broke up because the sex wasn't right. But she wants you to keep the money right. She pimping you. Don't let her. Buck. So, the next dude come in. These courts don't care. They're going to try to make you still do this, still do that. Make it hard for everybody, man. Make it hard. Pause. I said make it hard for everybody. Pause. Pause, 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 pause. But... No mercy. No mercy. She should have been, yes, dear. I'm very wet, honey. I really want you to... I want both of us to get these big O's. But what do they do? You go soft. Oh, man, what's wrong with you? You need to go to the doctor. word right there. You know what that word was. That's what these women be doing. They expect you to just alright, come on. Let's hurry up. Come on. To be like 43, 37, 49. Alright, hurry up. Come on. So what? Hurry up. They done hit the motorcycle, dude. Man. These people need to stop driving so close. And that's the main reason why they be hitting people. Because they driving too close, man. We're like... It's like you always in a, a hurry, an emergency. You ain't going nowhere now, Goofy. I gotta get out their way. He look, laying on the ground, look like he dead or something. These people be driving too close. Y'all gotta excuse me, man. I done had a couple accidents. It's like when people not doing the right things. I just, like, I be getting mad over this driving stuff. I don't got road rage, but it's like, because I know that some of these people is too goofy to be behind the wheel. Got too much going. You just you just got on the argument and you behind the wheel. But we'll be back. Yeah, I know I'm gonna connect the dots on this one. We gotta do a part two because we stayed on this main street. And I'm not even done with it. So we're gonna do a part two. Stay tuned.